game four. Third consecutive game that Austin Matthews starts along with Zach Hyman and Wayne Simmons. As Elliot mentioned, it's Kotkaniemi on the ice for the Canadians in a different starting alignment. Doesn't get through. Adam Brooks. Here's Spezza all alone. Home free. And Carey Price squeezes the pads and makes the first tough stop of the night. Numbers in the middle of the ice. Gets behind everybody, and this one's going five. Sent wide of the net. One-handed by Brody. Sherratt stepped up on Hyman, but here's a two-on-one. It's Marner all the way, and he can't slide it past Carey Price. So the first penalty of the game is a slashing call against the Canadians. To create something, so you get a pinch on the wall there, but nobody covering behind, and Marner left all by himself. And that's a smart play there by Shea Weber. Take away the potential pass across to Matthews. Have trust in your goaltender and there's three good early six. Austin Matthews has Riley at the point. Rasmus Sandin out tonight. Great move. Marner another shot right on as he looks for his first goal of the series and his first in 15 Stanley Cup playoff games. Gallagher trying to get it back. At the line. Weber across for Sherrod. Up high the shot. It was tipped by Gallagher and Campbell had to be sharp on that. Eight minutes, 20 seconds gone. There's the deflection in front by Brendan Gallagher. There goes Nylander who has points in seven straight against the Canadians. Kirk went to the net and a back end by Galchenyuk. His first shot on goal in the series and a close call in tight. Big ball beats the point. Turn it around to Bogosian up high. Simmons shooting. Loose in front. And Terry Price down. McKayev collects the rebound and kicks it back to the line. Simmons shot rejected by Byron. Maple Leafs, they get the puck in control in the offensive zone. They keep the pressure on, and it's such a long change. And as you saw there, they've been caught 11 times. Here's Nick Suzuki into the Leafs zone. After it against Hall with Toffoli, but it's Jake Muzzin there to flip it ahead. Kerfoot able to catch up with that, but over the line with Galchenyuk in front. The pass scores! Pretty tic-tac goal, and it's William Nylander again. Sure, Dominic Ducharme's going to look at this. In the old rules, this probably would have been offside. You saw the lift of the leg, but Galchenyuk, the no look pass as Kerfoot puts it between the stick and skates, and then the drop pass as Price is coming over to his right. The wide open net there for Nylander as he came through. It's not Nylander on the blue line, it's Galchenyuk lifting his skate. But keeping it back, that was the key play. Toronto bench is the Maple Leafs make changes and Corey Perry speeds back. In front it goes. Campbell down and a stop off Eric Stahl as the Canadians come close. All zone, so a quick up by Weber. Perry with the saucer pass to an area and Bogosian's late getting in on Stahl, but Campbell able to track that one and squeeze the wickets, get a piece of that. He rode up into his pads and then able to hold it around to the far side. Simmons after it and runs into Kulak. In ball, his pass cut off. Here's Toffoli from behind the goal line and a short side stop for Campbell. Thought he might have been able to find a man in front. Good four check there by a pinch of the D and then inside a position on Riley. Tried to go short side as Campbell kept himself anchored to that side. Saw Caulfield across, but you can see Brody coming across. The Canadians' goals in the regular season, fifth highest percentage in the league. Austin Matthews led in that department. Here's Armia at the jam play, and Campbell stops that. Corey Perry's moving. You kick it back for Armia. Band on the shot. Petrie moved up, but able to come up with that. And he's caught. Galchenyuk over the line. Looks at it. Drop scores. What a great pass from Galchenyuk. And Jason Spezza makes it two to nothing. To Galchenyuk does a good job of taking it deep. And this saucer pass, just perfect. You could see the reaction of Carey Price. Price thought he might have been able to get there, but off the glove and up and over. As all Spezza's trying to do there, look at him turn the blade of his stick and just chip it up and over. It's not even getting much on that. It's just making sure it gets up and... You think for these veteran players, a playoff goal doesn't mean something. Defoley tries to center that. Now Thornton's going to take over with a half minute left. With the second power play of the night for Toronto. 
Drops it off. Kerfoot on the move. That's a Thornton. Scores! Joe Thornton on the redirect. And he has his first of the series. Keynes goes on and speed to the neutral zone. Drop pass. Little outlet. And how about that play by Jason Spezza. The two old players connecting in such a big fashion as Kerfoot makes the first outlet pass. Thornton goes and instead of going by the net, just stops on the side and able to redirect that one past Price. Just over four minutes left in the second period. Across for Caulfield. Here's Edmondson right on. And Jack Campbell has got that. Game four without any offense yet from their top unit. Austin Matthews might change that. Spinarama and a dangerous backhand stopped by Price. Well, those goals start to build momentum, and it so often it goes right to your legs. And here's Matthews trying to join the club there. That one rattled around between the legs as Price sliding across. Gordon tried to chop it in, unable to do so, but Brooks follows up with speed. Brooks dashing in, and Price out of his net to cut the angle. It was a good job of just corralling the puck, trying to get to the outside, uses his body pretty well. That's off Perry, a neat redirect to Suzuki. That pass denied by Muzzin. Across for Suzuki, moves in, and Campbell gets a piece of that. Close to the spot Suzuki scored on last night. See, Weber gets it organized. Great pass. Gallagher sprung. Shooting off the goal post. Brendan Gallagher hits iron. The lead. Gallagher gets the best chance in all alone. Like right where Suzuki. And now it's Edmondson taking a shot loose in front. Campbell down with Byron on the doorstep. Ben Sherrod sends it. Kicked away by Campbell with heavy traffic in front. And Galchenia comes up with that. Back to the bench and then traffic in front. Something you haven't seen enough of from the Montreal Canadiens in this series. They talked about trying to get more of it. What the Canadians or how they approach the third period, I guess you look to last night and that 15-2 advantage and somehow, how do they break through? Swinging wide, turning back, playing it to the net, tipped in front, and Campbell Downs got it in his glove. That one doesn't get to the net. Comes back for Caulfield, broken up, Hyman's got a break. Zach Hyman in alone, and Price with a flop stop, and he'll hold on. It's about a minute into his shift, but he gets in front of that pass and puts the puck into an area where he can skate it into, and just that patience of Carey Price. The ball whips it to the line, back out. Empty net, Zach Hyman, and he missed it. Hyman misses the open net. Matthews will swing it wide. This second shot, though, did... Oh, yeah, he yeah. did. I thought that would have a chance going in there. Suzuki on the draw. Caulfield flying over there to try and get it, but it's bumped ahead, and it's Alex Galchenyuk with the empty net, and he doesn't miss. It's a three-point night for the former Montreal Canadian. Along the wall, keeping this play alive. He gets in it, chips it past Petrie, and this combination has really worked together. You know, you think about how much different this lineup looks. And Jack Campbell will register his first Stanley Cup playoff shutout, and the Leafs have pushed the Canadians to the brink here in Game 5 on Thursday night.